but but so again at the same time my thinking is always I, I, I look at if you look at an entity like UNSA or CPU these people that were graduating right this these are things that can be done at maybe fourth year you know mm -hmm. uh, and this is what I try to do by the way some of these projects I work on these are projects that a normal like if it's if there's some sort of software being implemented mm. a normal developer will not waste time doing that because there's no money to be made right mm. Um, but 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 we know that students can do this as part yeah. of some research project or something. Mm. You know, but so it's uh, it's quite unfortunate and sad. And and this idea of migration, by the way, I don't. If you look at these Nigerian movies, uh, the the so-called villages that in Nigerians, things that the Nigerians would call village, mm. you find nice structures there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. My thinking is we should we should aspire to be at that level as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, it's very common for us. The village is somewhere, some, some place you run away from. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's considered a very big achievement if you manage to get away from it and find yourself uh, fairing drums of water. And you can go. Yeah. But again, I mean, I just remembered something that you, you said uh, on our way here. Selfishness, right? When we're passing through my roads, I yeah. find. Yeah, I think it's selfishness, right? I mean, we, we know that uh, we typically put on court operate on a shoestring budget, but there's usually money that can be allocated to some of these things. Yeah. But instead, you know, we choose to prioritize things that are not really as important. I don't know, maybe we should try some form of uh, decentralization. You know, our governance <laughs> should be going a bit more and more towards some level of decentralization in the way we do our right. our governance. I know the the local council set up and the constituency yeah. uh, set up is some way of trying to achieve that, that decentralization but I think for us power is still very much centralized yeah centralized well maybe that that might help actually because um, you know and, and some of these problems I mean are, are not just restricted to like these rural areas like my villages I don't know if I told you this but um, uh, most of la is it last month it was I think yeah March most of March I was um, Working from um, you know secondary schools, right? <coughs> secondary schools in Osaka, and you know it was uh, it was quite shocking when I found myself at the New Mandev Basic School fix. Mm. It's it's actually close to where to Northgate somewhere. It's close actually. Oh. Uh. Yeah. It's uh it's not very far from New Mandev. Oh, it's yeah. along that road going <laughs> yeah. to the place. Yeah, exactly. I know it. Yeah, it's, it's not very far. See kids. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I, I, I fix when I, I actually, I rarely was, when it comes to some of these things, I would rarely, you know, go to sleep thinking about that. But I, I spent a lot of time thinking about what was going on because I was, I was surprised that that was happening, right? Mm. 110 pupils, right? Crammed in a room no bigger than my living room at home. Serious? Yes. Ventilation was very poor kids sitting on the floor and, and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking do we not have you know, school inspectors do we have we just accepted that this is not there's nothing normal about that right mm. have we just accepted that this is normal it's fine the government has no money yeah. what what was especially on you know, these days it would be nice to get in here right? oh, I'll take a drive, huh? yeah you know, I, I thought about it a lot because prior to that, there are schools that I went to, right? Mm. Osaka boys, Osaka mm. girls. Mm. I went to Nyumbayanga. Mm. I found myself at Twin Palm Secondary School. These are all government-run schools. Now I know mm. the argument could be that maybe they're PTAs. I mean, I, they're, they're not, they normally constitute people that are wealthy and so maybe, you know, parents yeah. will come together and yeah. make money yeah. and all those things. But still, right? Mm. You know, there are just certain things that just don't make sense. You know, it's, uh, and, and by the way, Fixon, I, I sat there and I realized why. Because I would always wonder, right? I always wonder when you hear, when you read up this on statistics about how many kids you drop off, right? Mm, yeah. I'm always thinking, 
these people are just not serious. Why would someone drop out yeah, of school? Drop off, yeah. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, if I'm made to sit on the floor, yeah, yeah, I'm learning yeah, from yeah, yeah. a room that is poorly ventilated. Yeah. I mean, what's the point, yeah. right? I might as well just go and yeah, do something yeah. else with my life. It becomes very easy, yeah. It becomes very easy. Motivation. Because, uh, yeah, just motivation, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that was, um, that was really sad. And it's, um, it's unfortunate, really. Uh, yeah. I don't know if people actually know about this. Um, if our school inspectors are actually doing the job that they should be doing, such things shouldn't be happening. Huh? No, there should be things that we should be able to do about some of those things. Uh, and, and, and the other thing, mm. the other shocker is now, I, 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 I'm not, uh, I don't do woodwork, right? But fix on Really, how much work is required to build the desk? Yeah, to do yeah, this. I see, I see, I think about <laughs> those things a lot, right? Like, like if you are in a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> PTA yeah, is made up of my um, parents who are good at this thing. Uh, right? yeah. uh, uh, but it's, it's, I don't understand why you would have a school like that yeah. where apparently furniture is is so messed up that uh, kids have to sit on the floor. Mm. Can, can we not make desks, honestly? <laughs> I'm just saying here, yeah, right? Mm. So it's um. It's sad, you know, but it appears this problem is much, much larger than we may be know, painting I, it or know, something. Whole, I mean, it's, a, it's the nature of our societies, I guess. You know, I see a lot of these funny reactions from uh, people when they see uh, pictures of certain rural schools. So, you know, every once in a while, a video will surface about a teacher complaining yeah. about uh, thing. I don't know, I'm sure you've come across yeah, some of those. Yeah, yeah. So you look at the reactions, and I'm like, why are people surprised? I mean, are, are these have these people just uh, come into this country? They don't know that these are actual realities on the ground in most of our schools. Not even just in these rural areas. Even just here in the uh, the urban. So my, my my thinking, my my immediate reaction to all of that is always. Uh, the people that, if you look at the profile, the demographic of people that would react to these things, right? Mm. These are people that, uh, for the most part, I mean, they've lived in a bubble. Uh, you know, no, you've, just no serious. Them. I mean, you've. Uh, uh, sorry to have to say this, but mm. do you think the way you're raising your kids, right? Do you think that they were brought to appreciate that uh, there, there are places like New Mandela Basics where. Yeah, they, no, they won't, right? As far as they are concerned, a school. Is like where they, they've been going to school, and they're going to continue to go to those sort of places, right? Mm. You know, so I don't, uh, I don't blame people. I think like that. But yeah, um, important thing though is that uh, we need solutions to this problem. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and at some at some stage, I mean, somebody I worked with very closely uh, taught me the importance of uh, focusing on your oh, spear. One, 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 one second, does come this far. <laughs> Which far? I know there's What a, is this? I saw at Zambia, Wushu, whatever, school or something. Oh, I don't know where it trains from. Yeah, I don't know where it trains from, but but I, th I think it's somewhere up Wushu. Is it show ground or something? I don't know. Um, oh yeah, so you were saying? Yeah, I was saying, I mean, I, 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 mean, I, I see some of these things, I mean, I, I for me, I, I would like to think I try my best, right? I try to effect change in my small sphere of influence, right? Mm. You know, some of these things, I mean, the people that are paid to do this, the, mm. the best I can do is maybe talk about these things, perhaps, mm. draw attention to some of these things, I don't know. Mm. And by the way, it's part of the reason why I've become obsessed with recording these things. I'm usually hoping that uh, Someone important to see these things, right? Like no, things that don't make sense. Like you're driving through a road and there are no road signs, right? Mm. Come on, we pay road tax. You, 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 so it have come you. from here. Right? Oh yeah. yeah. Next time maybe we can go in. Mm, just to check, check it out. Yes. Yeah, it's more minimal here. You're hungry. I wanted to grab something. Okay. Maybe for Choco, I'm sure. Inside Salma Park area, somewhere. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, but I mean, looking for solutions is not something that we do a great job of, right? So we yeah. are used to just 
say. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, because uh, it's, you know some 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 things. I think uh, so. Some of these things, some of these trivial, what we call trivial problems, we see. Mm. It could be that. Uh, I've always wondered if it's the correct spelling for Caleb. I've always thought Caleb is a C. I remember telling someone about this. Oh, Caleb. But it's a K here. Maybe that's how Caleb Saidi. Okay, you should yeah. look him up. He was an important person on this freedom fighter, perhaps. Mm.